Hello, my name is Alex with 8 Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you four ways of creating an issue in Jira. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing as that really helps the algorithm. And please drop a like in this video. If you have any questions about anything that I talk about today, please make sure you drop a comment and I will try to address it. All right, so let's talk about four different ways of creating issues in Jira. I'm going to be teaching you just so that you know your options are depending on who you are, how you interact with Jira. Um, maybe you only know of one or two ways and I just wanted to show you my favorite four ways of creating issues. So let's jump into Jira. So the first way is probably going to be the most obvious way is in the middle of the screen, there is a big blue button. When you click on this big blue button, it's going to pop up a modal in which you're going to have the ability to basically do some selections here. So the first thing is because you're clicking the big blue button, Jira is going to try to remember where the last project was that you were interacting with and assume that that's where you want to put that issue. So if you don't want to do that, you're going to want to select from here from the project and pick the actual project you want the issue to go into. Second, you're going to want to pick the issue type. There's by default a certain number of issue types that you have available to you. And in a future video, we'll be talking about issue types, what all that means, and also how to create issue types. So again, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those videos. All right, so once you pick your issue type, I'm gonna pick story. You're gonna give it a name, a story, and then any other required fields as indicated by this little red asterisk you are gonna have to be filled out by, by default. And you're, if you're in the screen, you're gonna have to pick the project, the issue type, and then the title. And I'm just going to add a one because I'm going to create four of these. And again, if nothing else is required, you can just hit the create button and that issue is now created. It'll give you a little pop up on the screen telling you that the issue has been created and you can either, if you're quick, you can click on it. Otherwise, uh, you're going to want to go into the actual project itself and then it'll, it's going to be in either the backlog or it's going to be in issues depending on some of your configurations or settings. So as you can see, here's my issue. Method number two of creating an issue is you're going to want to go to the backlog of an issue. And if you look at either the sprint or at the backlog, and I recommend if you're not in sprint planning mode, as in you're not in your sprint planning session or meeting, I recommend you, you just stick to adding issues to the backlog. So you can just put a title here. So a story two. And when I hit enter, it is now going to create that story here. Now notice a couple of things. One, I didn't have to pick the issue type and I didn't have to pick the project. And I didn't have to pick the project because I'm already in the project. So Jira again is assuming, hey, if I'm clicking create issue, I'm gonna do it here. Two, I don't know if you saw this, but very subtly, you can pick between a story task or bug and then click the, the enter button after you give it a title. So you actually can pick the issue type, but because you're in this backlog view, and this is really for you to manage your sprints, you're only going to be able to create stories, tasks, or bugs. You won't be able to create epics, and you really won't be able to create subtasks, although you couldn't create it in the previous method either. But you are restricted to just stories, tasks, or bugs when you're in this backlog view. You can create uh, issues up here, but I recommend that you are in a active sprint planning mode, as in you're trying to plan your next sprint. Otherwise, this might just get a little bit out of hand. So you wanna make sure that when you're creating issues here, you're at least in the team setting so that people understand why you're creating these issues and why they're going into a particular sprint versus if you're just adding to the backlog, you're just adding technical debt, if you will, to yourself. That's method number two. Method number three is by using the roadmap feature built into every board in Jira. And so you can come in here, create an epic. I'm just gonna call it test epic one. And that creates the epic. Again, you don't really get to pick the issue type because by default you're picking the epic and you don't get to pick the project again because you're in the epic project. Now, what is interesting is the, the summary is filled out and I'm curious to see what they put under the, the epic name. So yeah, this is interesting too, right? Because if you hit the create button and you're, you're filling out an epic and you just give it the summary, and I hit create, it actually won't work because epic name is required. So I have to come in here, copy it or do whatever I want and actually provide two input fields versus when I'm in this roadmap view, Jira is automatically taking that summary and appending it to your epic name. So I think that's a little bit of a shortcut. Not sure if you knew that, but anyways, from here, 
you have your epic, you don't have to go and create your stories, tasks, or bugs independent. You can actually just click this little plus sign, and now you can select whether you want to do a bug or a task, and now you can do story three. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanted to create a subtask now at this point, you can go into any issue at this point and create, click on the create subtask here, and you can do subtask one. And so now you, it won't show up here, but in the fourth view or the fourth method of creating an issue, they will show up. So let's jump into that one. So this next method only works if you're on the premium version of Jira. If you're not on the premium, you can pretty much stop here, drop a like, drop, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you drop a comment below. But if you are on the premium version, then stick around because I'm going to be teaching you here how to do this in a fourth method. All right. So the fourth way is again, if you're premium, this is going to work flawlessly, but you're going to want to go to your plan. So pick a recent plan. If you haven't created a plan, I'm going to have a whole video series on advanced roadmaps and what all, how to do all this. So make sure again, you are subscribed because you are going to not want to miss on these videos because advanced roadmaps and planning is one of the most advanced features of Jira. So I want to make sure that you're getting all that. So anyways, let's jump into the plans and what you're going to be able to do in this plan view is create issue and from here you can create an epic or a story it's up to you and it's really dependent on what you have on your filters here again make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video because i'm going to be walking you through this whole advanced roadmap very very soon so you're not going to want to miss out on those videos but for now the fourth way click the blue button here create an epic epic 2 you hit enter again it's going to automatically create that epic name for you and now to create the story you can either a create the story and just create a, a independent story down below i'm going to toggle it to be a story i guess i'm on story four now or because now i just created an independent story that's not tied to any epic i would have to essentially grab this story and associate it back to my epic if i wanted to do that but if you automatically want to create that parent child relationship between the epic and the story you can actually click on these ellipses here for that epic create a story and now when you hit enter, that story is going to be associated to that epic. And that's pretty much it. Uh, at this point, you're going to want to review your changes. But again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to talk you through all the configurations and how to use an advanced roadmap. That's pretty much it. Those are the four different ways of configuring or creating Jira issues in Jira Cloud. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.